Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol IPIX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just the past three days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis uh, yesterday. In fact, this is the third day in a row now that I think about it. So that is where the green line and red line annotation are coming from. I want to get things updated here as we head into the weekend. And on top of that, the, the price from a technical perspective, that is for those of us, those of us that would you know use charts and care about charts, is at a very important level. And that level has to do with that purple line right there, which I've talked about in past videos, but that is the very famous 50 period simple movement average. Even if you just have a very basic and surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 50 period movement moving average and you know that when the price is above it assuming you're bullish of course you want to see the price stay above it or in other words you want to see the, it act as support and so far so good that's right where the price is at and the price is yeah technically speaking maybe slightly below it but you know support resistance levels are not exact specific prices they definitely have a range element associated with them and I think we'd all agree by far you know that the, the price is well within the quote unquote range of that moving average. And that's what you want to see. That's so far so good because when you stop and think about it, if the price does indeed hold above this range before starting to head back up, well then you'd have that set of lows right there. You'd have a consolidation low there. You'd have this consolidation low and so on and so forth. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well then you would have very clear stair steps heading in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game. So like I said, now is it the absolute end of the world even if the price does break below that purple line? I'm not saying that. Would the chart lose some of its attractiveness? Yeah, it would lose some of its attractiveness, but there's a big difference between losing some attractiveness and being totally ruined. And I'm not saying that would totally ruin the chart. Uh, but yeah, preferably speaking, you wanna stay above that purple line for the reasons just discussed. As far as levels of resistance, yeah, you have that overall one up there around the dollar seventeen mark. But I do want to add in this treadline resistance that seems to have made itself. And that is right there at that point. You can see just pretty much, uh, you know, the, the bears have been slowly pressing it down with these lower highs and lower highs. Uh, but if the price can get back above there, that would be a good start. And the next, like I said, overall area of resistance up there at the dollar seventeen mark. So big picture, things are still perfectly fine. Yeah, this price action isn't nearly as exciting when the price is exploding, but the higher bases are still in play, and that's the name of the game. So we'll see what next week brings. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.